Welcome back to the channel, Control Freaks. It's Les Alex, and I am back. Yes, I know I've been on a long hiatus, as I sometimes do, but today we are going to be taking a look at Azorius Control in Explore. This is very similar to a list that won a RC in Pioneer. It is very similar. I don't remember the player's name. I'm sorry. You can look it up, though. And, yeah, this is a very similar list to what they played. And I'm really excited to share with you. This is just a deck tech. No gameplay today. But if you enjoy the content, make sure to like, comment down below, and, of course, subscribe if you enjoy the content. I'm going to get back to a more regularly scheduled program here. Not every single day uploads like I used to, but it will be much more regular. And I'll be sprinkling, it, sprinkling in some other kind of content as well. Magic the Gathering related, of course. Let's take a look, though. We have three March of the Machines. March of the Machines. March of Otherworldly Light. This is obviously an excellent way to deal with little critters or big critters. We do have the new to me. <laughs> I've just started playing with this card. Get Lost. Get Lost. Map. This card is excellent. I'm so stoked for this one. Whew. I'm very stoked. Change the equation. Well, <laughs> We did just get a card that probably is going to take over this spot in this. We'll get to that in a later video, but change the equation. Still here for now. It is a two of. Moving on, we have Make Disappear. Obviously, this is excellent during the early games. This is basically our mana leak in this format. Of course, we don't have actual factual mana leak, so we have to deal with Make Disappear, but still a fine card, and it synergizes very well with the Wandering Emperor and our shark tokens that we make from Shark Typhoon. Moving on down the line, we have Dovin's Veto as a three of. This card is just excellent. Right now, it is just the Stone Cold best counter spell that we have access to in this format because the things that kill us are non-creature spells. And, of course, this cannot be countered. We have three temporary lockdowns. There's a lot, a lot of creatures that are... Two or less mana value uh, permanence, you know, so deals with all sorts of tokens, blood, or whatever. Reckon or bank busters, anything like that. Temporary lockdown. I'm playing, hey, I like it. Quick study. I like this card. Being able to randomly draw two cards at the end of your opponent's turn, pretty good. It's not great to where I want to go up any more than a fun of, but quick study, still there. Narset. You could add another Narset. You could add two Narsets. I would never play, at least in the current uh, metagame, I would never go more than two Narsets. But right now I'm playing one Narset. Parter of Veils, of course, this is great against the Mirror. It is also good against Phoenix, but Narset, Parter of Veils, it's decent against Red Black as well. But Narset, Parter of Veils, still, still right, chucking, chugging right along. Next up, we have Settle the Wreckage, a card that is hated by many. And uh, it's an I gotcha card. It definitely is an I gotcha card. Um, if you are experiencing a metagame where there are a lot of decks that are going wide, that are aggressive, definitely check out Settle the Wreckage. You could probably swap this for something like Farewell, which is in our sideboard. Uh, if you're playing against a more mid-range based metagame but what i've experienced settle the wreckage pretty solid and it's just a huge i gotcha card we are playing three wandering emperors this is the first time i've ever went down from four since this card was printed it's still very good don't get me wrong but i'm wanting to try out other things like narset and another one dig through time which we'll get to that just got on the client so uh we went down on one emperor and yeah Check that out, though. It's a very, very powerful card. Next up, we've still got three memory to lose. This card's just pound for pound, one of the best draw spells that we have access to in this format. Four mana, look at the top X, and then we can flash it back. Look at So basically, you look at four, and then pick two, and then when you flash it back, you get to pick seven. Or you, you get to look at seven and pick two still. So excellent card. Very similar, very reminiscent to Dig Through Time. Um, but still just one of the best draw spells in the format. Next up, we have Supreme Verdict. I mean, one of the main reasons we're playing Azorius over any other style of control deck, playing two of them. We have Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. You could play three, you could play two. I definitely wouldn't play more, uh, less than two, um, but 
Yeah, Teferi. Literally the reason this deck is so good. It does every single thing you want to do in this style of deck. It draws cards. It untaps lands. Uh, it is a win condition in its own right. And if it doesn't literally win you the game, it will just get you so far ahead. If you get to untap and draw cards with this a second time, you're probably winning the game. Next up, we have three Shark Typhoons. Very good against many different decks. You could even play four. I could understand that. Then we have Dig Through Time. Again, this is one of the newer cards that are on the client and in the format. In Explore, obviously, this has been available in Pioneer for quite some time, but it's brand new to Magic Arena, so Dig Through Time. Obviously, Delve has busted this card. Sweet. You don't really want to play too many more than one, though. I wouldn't suggest. Moving on to the mana base, let's just take a look. We've got one Castle Arden Vale. I still play one. I don't think a lot of people still are, but I like having it. It is a great way into the game to finish out the game. Aganjo, still a great utility land. Castle Vantress, still just, a, you know, the castles are great. Hall of Storm Giants, an excellent way to just beat your opponent mercilessly to death. We've got Ottawa, of course, the channel, the other channel land, the blue channel land. Deserted Beach, Hallowed Fountain, Hingegate Pathway, all four of them. Then we have a new one. Restless Anchorage. Anchorage? It has it makes map tokens and you can buff it up. It's as flying two, three for three. This is exactly what <laughs> this deck needed. And then we do have three field of ruins. Get rid of pesky creature lands and all sorts of things. Anything, you know, if they've got a cavern of souls, any any nasty lands that you don't want to see. Of course, field of ruin is great, and it doesn't make you go down on a land, which is excellent. Moving on over to the sideboard. Obviously, I will say, sideboards are negotiable. 100%. If you're playing Paper Pioneer tournaments, make your own sideboard based on whatever kind of metagame you have. Don't just copy and paste my sideboard. You're not going to have a great time with it. But in terms of things that I'm seeing, this is what I've brought to the table. Or the desk. <laughs> Rest in peace. We have two of them. There's one here. There's one here because... You know, you know how this client is. We got Chrome House Seed Shark as a two of. I've got two Mystical Disputes. I've got my second Narset. I've got copies three and four of Change the Equation. One Temporary Lockdown. Three Regal Caracals. So the Kitty Cat Parade is coming along, and then one Hole Breaker Horror. And it's not showing up, but basically this is great for the Mirror. Uh, Regal Caracal, again, great, great card for Red Black. You definitely need to have this. Temporary Lockdown, pretty self-explanatory, aggressive decks. Change the equation, great against Red Black or any Red Green decks, obviously. Rest in Peace comes in against any deck wanting to utilize the graveyard to a heavy extent. Farewell, great against mid-range decks. Narset, great against Phoenix or the Mirror. Mystical Dispute, same thing. Chrome Host Seed Shark. Great against any mid-range deck. And we already talked about rest in peace. But yeah, that's the deck list, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me. Like I said, I'm going to be back. I'm going to be streaming again over on twitch.tv slash lesalex. So if you like this content, head on over there. Follow me there. I will be streaming more regularly over there. And of course, if you want to help support the content even more and you've made it this far and you enjoy the content, help, and you want to consider supporting over on Patreon, patreon.com slash Alex. Check it out. Got some fun perks, some other things going on over there. I appreciate you all. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Keep spreading that Azorius propaganda, and I will catch you all on the Flippy Flop. Adios, everybody.